High School Sports Show. Intimate conversation with the most talented players and coaches on the Seacoast. Other guys stepped up, like Travis put up 21, and Devon had a great game. Yeah. And that's the great thing about our team. Now, here. And welcome, everybody, to the All-Star High School Sports Show, live from the WTSN studios in Dover. We're here today with our guests, the Spalding High Tennis team, who will be coming on later in the program. And joining us right now in studio, it's the Portsmouth Christian Girls Softball Team. And uh, they brought the whole party. There's uh, more people in the studio, I think, than has ever been before. Somebody's got to set the new record after uh, after these guys uh, exit the building at some point because they brought. Let's see, there's nine players, there's two coaches, and there's one, three coaches. I beg your pardon, and two support staff. So that's I, I can't do math, but that's a whole lot of people. So uh, we're glad you could join us uh, tonight for the All Star High School Sports Show. And uh, let's see who we have here tonight. We have uh, Alicia Vining is with us. Alicia, how you doing? Good. Thank you. Good. And uh, your mic, oh, say that again. The dumb <laughs> studio host forgot to hit a button. It's okay. Good. Thank you for having us. All right. And uh, also with us is Nikki Dudley. Nikki, how are you tonight? Great. Thanks. Good. Glad you could be here. Kristen Height is with us. How are you, Kristen? I'm awesome. Thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for being here. And you'll have to uh, let Abby get on the mic there. Abby Sheedy. No relation to Allie. Abby Sheedy is uh, with us. Abby's a little shy, but thanks for being here, Abby. No problem. Thank you so much for having us. All right. And uh, so you guys are undefeated and in first place, is, is what I'm told. Is that is that correct, Alicia? Yes, that is definitely correct. With a record of 1-0. Oh. oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> this is a start. So that's, uh, well, listen, you can't you can't go undefeated unless you win the first one. So uh, you you uh, you guys defeated. Who was it last night? I have it right here. Epping? Was that two years? Or was it no, Newmarket? No, Newmarket. 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 All right, I get the, my geography mixed up. So, uh, and you guys coming off a, a, a pretty decent playoff run last year too, right? Yeah, we definitely did really well last year in the playoffs. We made it to the second round, so but we ended up losing, unfortunately. But we definitely went far, which we hope to do again this year. All right, we're not here to talk about bad stuff. We're here to talk yeah. about fun stuff. <laughs> so that's, uh, but that's, I mean, you guys had a young team last year too, mm-hmm. and it's, it almost seems like it got younger, which I don't know how that happened. But, uh, but so I mean, playoff experience and being young—that's not so bad. But well, uh, so. Nikki, let me start with you, um, since Alicia's doing all the talking so far. Uh, Nikki, <laughs> uh, Nikki uh, so what was the key to the win last night, 8-3 to three over Newmarket? What, was, uh, what, what went right last night for you guys? Uh, well, we just got it started with our bats, scored a couple quick runs, and had lockdown defense. Lockdown defense. All right. And uh, so you had a lot of quick runs early, and, well, that's usually when you get quick runs. Yeah, our, pitching, our pitching was just fair, you know. It was just a- <laughs> fair. <laughs> Now, Nikki, you're the catcher, right? Yes. So you have the best view of the pitching, so you can say whether it's you know fair or decent. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Kristen, you're a senior on the team, right? Yes. What position do you play? I play center and second base. Center and second base. Which do you prefer? Um, it depends on the day. Yesterday I was feeling the outfield, so okay. it was pretty good. Now, do you wake up in the morning and you're like, well, I, today I like center field a little bit better? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> okay now, what, what, so, uh, so I'm sorry, yesterday you preferred which position? Center field. Okay, and how did it, so it went well for you in the field? Yeah, not a lot of action, but when it did happen, we, we got the ball in. All right, excellent. And uh, Abby Sheedy, you're also a senior, right? I am a senior. Just want to make sure I have my facts correct. Yep. That's all. And what position do you play? I play the bench. I'm the manager. You're the wow. You're the manager. Yes. I have the most exciting job there is. Well, your job it never stops. <laughs> no, it never does. Okay, so you then what? What do you like about being the manager of the team? I like throughout the season watching the girls get better and better, and being able to take the stats and watch them go up or down, whatever way is more positive. Okay, excellent. So uh, you are the, the the manager of the team. Now, um, Alicia, you were the only pitcher last year. That is correct. And uh, now, was that tough on you the whole season? or? Um, I mean, definitely, like, when you have, like, four games in a week, it could get difficult. But I really enjoy just being always, like, able to play and, like, never, like, knowing or, like, never having to stop and always having the ball in my hands. And I liked having that. Yeah. So it was really enjoyable, but it could be hard sometimes. Okay, it could be hard sometimes. I got you. And uh, so now you have your sister is also pitching this year. So, I mean, is, is that a little more of a relief? You know, well, literally it was a relief yesterday. You pitched five innings, which last year you had to pitch every inning of every game no matter what. That is correct. I did pitch every inning of every game. But this year we do have Ashley, and we pulled her out from eighth grade. So yep. she's definitely a big help. And which, can give me a break. Which is something you can do in Division Four. You can't really exactly. get in other divisions. It's like you have to have less than 15 players try out, and you can't cut anyone. So right on. What to us. Now, Nikki, as the catcher, I mean, is that uh, did you get sick of catching Alicia last year? Or? Well, it's nice to have some variety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
and uh, she is ready for her own show. Look at her. <laughs> Say that before the show started. Uh, now, who, now what, I mean, is it a, more of a challenge for you? Now you have to get used to two different pitchers? Or? Well, I've actually caught for Ashley before because we were on the same junior high team. So okay. that's not too difficult. And you, you, then this junior high team, all the, all the freshmen that are, will be on the, sh- the show in a little bit, talking all sorts of junk, just chirping away out in the hall- lobby. 19-0, <laughs> junior high team undefeated. They're ready to like take over the team from you guys. Do you guys how do you guys handle that? Well, i just like to point out the fact that we were the, me and Alicia were the reason there was the first 9-0, and so they can't have the yeah. 19-0 and without the first 9-0. and Oh, okay. So there should be a little <laughs> thankfulness for the first 9-0. and Exactly. But they do bring a lot of talent to our team that we are very thankful for. Okay. Now, now Kristen, you're a senior. I mean, you have all these underclassmen that are very uh, headstrong. <laughs> How do you deal with that? It gets rough. I mean, one of them is my sister, so that really? just speaks for itself. Okay. But, um, I don't know. It's nice. I like having new kids come up. I mean, there's always the freshman jokes that go around. But mm-hmm. they're hanging in there. I mean, we're a little rough on them because we're the the older kids, but they're doing well. Right. So you have, now, freshmen and eighth graders. Do the eighth graders get picked on, or just the freshmen? Pretty much just the freshmen. Eighth grader, okay. we just take her in, but the freshmen we get all the heat. So the eighth, graders, <laughs> eighth graders have like an immunity card, like a, like a okay. So Ashley, Ashley's just, just wait for next year. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so you get to see what's in store for you for you eighth graders. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, so uh, Abby, as, as someone who doesn't actually play on the team, what, what do you think the strengths of the team are? You get to be an impartial observer. Well, maybe not impartial, but you get to watch without playing. So, I mean, what, what do you think the strengths of this team are? Um, we definitely having a small number of seniors. Um, it's easy for the seniors co- to connect one on one with the younger kids. But um, having a younger team this year will be good in the future because they definitely have good examples to look up to and um, just be able to watch and learn uh, this year. Okay, so that's the that's the yeah you know some a couple of seniors, but uh, you know that you think comes up. I'd like to hear that. Now, Alicia, uh, what, what, do, what would you say your biggest competition is going to be this year? Who do you think are the tough teams out there? Keep in mind, they might be listening and writing all this down <laughs> to use against you at a later date. It's okay. We can take it to them. But definitely our biggest competition is <laughs> going to be Farmington because they are D3, but and they were our biggest competition last year, but we did end up beating them. So now hold on a second. Sure. That kind of went by the boards. You said it's okay if they're li- if they're listening because you can take it to them. We can. <laughs> come at us. It's okay. We come, can wow. take you. Come at me, bro. Is that what you basically <laughs> saying? Come at me, Farmington. Come like, at me. <laughs> but if you can't see it, well, you can't see it because we're on the radio. Alicia has full condor arms. <laughs> come at me, bro. Let's go. Right. Now, Nikki, is this the kind of attitude the whole team has? Like, you think you can? Uh, I just hope Farmington's listening. <laughs> Because Alicia's got to pitch and hit, right? Yeah. Well, well, here's the thing: if if someone trips at Alicia, you can just give you can give the five fingers down. We have a wall. We have a, we have a way to protect her. We have a we plan do. already. In place. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Great. So now, now, how did this come about? Just because she chirps so much, or? Well, we just decided that it was a necess- necessity to practice. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have the beam ball on every now and again. Yeah. So, so what's if someone's peeking and looking at signs? What's the signal for someone? getting buzzed. The tower's getting buzzed. Is it five fingers down or is it just the fist? Or It's kind of classified. Uh, listen, no, it's just, we're just talking here. Just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, Kristen, what do you, uh, I mean, Farmington obviously is a big, that's mm-hmm. kind of developed into a rivalry, right? Because they're D3. Yeah. I mean, the, the uh, geography is oh, kind of close. Yeah. Is that your biggest rival or is somebody else your biggest rival? I honestly think it's Farmington. I mean, I feel like every sport it's Farmington and I really? don't, I don't really know why. It's just been like that since I was a freshman and yeah. we just keep it going. So, so. Okay, and uh, so I mean, other, is there another team besides Farmington that you really guys get really fired up to play? Or um, I get fired up for Newmarket just because that's my hometown, and I used to go there. Okay, um, but I mean, yesterday felt pretty good about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> now that's I mean, now that's another thing. I mean, you know, with a private school like Portsmouth Christian, not everybody's from the same town. And uh, do you guys have a? Yeah, you know, I mean, you're from Newmarket. Mm-hmm. Still live in Newmarket. Yes. Okay, and now uh, Alicia, where are you from? I'm from Dover. You're from Dover. What about you, Nikki? Dover. Dover. Okay. Now is it uh, Abby? What town are you from? I'm from Berwick. I'm a Mainer. Berwick. Yes. Coming for the 207. Mm-hmm. We won't hold it against you. That's all right. Uh-huh. But uh, <laughs> but now is it tough? For, you think it's tougher for you guys to kind of mesh together as a team? Uh, with, you know, with that variable, or what do you think? Um, I don't think so at all. I think we all bring our own little thing to each practice, and I mean, we do make fun of the main people because. Well, I mean, that's I mean, you know, it's, it's just a given. <laughs> but no, I think it 
You have to make fun of the main people. I mean, worse than the freshmen. <laughs> well, just, really? It's a different level. Well, I mean, I mean, Abby, you could just hide their stuff. You're the manager. You could I, hide, could. It, I can switch up their stats, and they'd never know. Yeah. I'd talk oh. to my coach the next day, and they'd be like, what, c- Coach, that's the best batting average I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, no, oh, no, that was a, the, the shortstop booted that. That was an error. No base hit. Yeah. <laughs> there was nowhere near the shortstop, was it? <laughs> yeah. Abby, so. you're my favorite. <laughs> I want uh, my 500 no, strikeouts. All right. We'll see. <laughs> well, Alicia, other than uh, other than Farmington, who do you who what team do you get fired up for? Um, I think past years it has been Pittsfield because Pittsfield were always neck and neck with, and definitely like we play them in other sports, but like the last few years we've been so close. It's like okay, we need to beat them, and I think that's how it is when we play teams that we're pretty equal with. We just like we're like okay, we want to beat you, and that's where that fire comes from. All right, Nick, Nikki, would you say the same thing, or is there another team you get fired up for? Uh, I definitely agree with what Alicia and Kristen said. Yep, yeah, it's, it's okay. So you just you don't want to go. You've been going out on a limb, but you don't want to go out on a limb. There. That's okay. <laughs> no, That's all right. Uh, so Kristen, let me ask you. You guys have your first. Well, you had your first game last night at home, eight to three win, undefeated, first place. Uh, you have your first and your next three games at home. The end of the season, it's it's going to be rough because you're going to have uh, four out of your last five are going to be on the road. And you got to in Division Four road trips are brutal. You got to go to like I don't even know where Wilton Lindenboro is on a map. I couldn't, does. I couldn't find that with a map, a compass, and a native guy. But how important is it in the beginning of the season to get some W's on the board when you're at home? Oh, I think it's definitely important because then you get a cushion. You kind of lay back and really focus on the areas we need to improve on. And I mean, with the away games, they'll still still be fun because we have the bus rides. And little focus bus rides and you have to pretty much get lost to get to the places we're going to but um i think it's good to to start off strong because then there's only up right. from there so. where gps does not work the places yeah. <laughs> pretty much all right uh, abby let me ask you on the road trips who's who's going to be the funniest kid on the team who's going to keep you entertained on the road trips well you see you've actually already met her i'd have to say miss nikki dudley yeah. <laughs> uh, her her dry sarcasm is I'm, what keeps me going. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I tend to agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alicia, is, is that unanimous? What do yes, you think? Yes, Nikki's definitely the hit of the party on the bus. <laughs> yeah, she's, it's like sneaky. She's sneaky funny. Exactly. Don't like, moment. She'll, she'll just like, if you say something, she's yeah. like right on it. She's on you. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki, don't get a big head now, all right? <laughs> I can see you over there going, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> start my own Facebook fan club. All right. So, uh, all right, now I'll, I'll start with you, you guys, and then we will uh, take a break in just a second here. I'll, I'll start with you, Alicia. If the team plays to its potential, how far do you think you can go in the playoffs this year? Honestly, if we play to our fullest potential, I see June 8th. June 8th. June 8th. State championship. Wow. I can see us going there, definitely. I feel like if we do our best and we're at the top of our game, we can yeah. accomplish a lot because we are really skilled. All right. If uh, Nikki, uh, Portsmouth Christian will get to the final four and maybe the championship game if what happens? I think if we play our best and continue to go in the direction our coach is leading us and meshes the team. Okay, good answer. And uh, Kristen, PCA will not get to the Final Four if what happens? What's going to stop you from getting there? Um, I think definitely if we get a big head, we need to take it game by Nikki. game and focus. <laughs> <laughs> that was not aimed at Nikki at all, all right, I, I, whatsoever. I, I know what you're saying. All right, and what do you think, uh, Abby? Abby Sheedy, what do you think? If the uh, Portsmouth Christian will get to the Final Four if what happens? Um, if the girls definitely work on uh, what they need to work on and play their strong points, it will definitely be a good season and they'll be able to go all the way. All right. Well, thank you, girls, uh, for joining us. Alicia Vining, Nikki Dudley, Kristen Height, Abby Sheedy. We're going to uh, let, kick you guys out of the seats and get some more teammates <laughs> in here. When we come back on the All-Star High School Sports Show, we are live from the WTSN studios in Dover on AM 1270 WTSN and WTSNAM1270.com. Now, more of the All-Star High School Sports Show with Justin McIsaac. And we're back on the All-Star High School Sports Show, live from the WTSN studios in Dover. Don't forget, as soon as we're done here, we'll take you out to Jacobs Field, or whatever they call it now, in Cleveland for the Yankees and the Indians. John and Susan patiently waiting, standing by, waiting to bring you that one. We're here with the Portsmouth Christian Girls softball team, a uh, whole new group of kids with us now, Ashley Vining who's an 8th grader, is with us. Ashley, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having us. And uh, Josie Tarbell is here. Josie, you were on the show last year, right? No, no. No? <laughs> You're a sophomore, you didn't come on last year? No, I had piano. You had piano? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, what do you play? Um, just 
piano. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, there's some, it, believe it or not, there's been more than one song written for the piano. So do you um, Ben Folds, Tori Amos, classical, what do you do? I don't know. I've been doing some Be- Beethoven, Beethoven and Tchaikovsky right now. Oh, where have they been? Who have they beat? Come on. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know that you're a pian. <laughs> All right, they got that going for them. Yeah. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. And uh, Emily Brashear is here. How are you doing, Emily? I'm good. Thank you for having us. You don't play the piano? No, I well, don't. You know, that's, you know, looks good on a college transcript. That's all I'm saying. I want to start... Start working on it. Maybe the you know maybe the French horn. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, well, we'll find something for you. But uh, you guys, uh, part of the uh, undefeated first place team, one to know after the win over Newmarket. And Ashley, uh, let me ask you this: you're uh, you're the the second pitcher on the team. I mean, your sister obviously uh, is, is the first pitcher. You came in in relief uh, last night as an eighth grader. Uh, what were you feeling when you entered your first varsity game as an eighth grader? Were you nervous? I was a little nervous, but I knew I could do it, and I had the experience, and I knew I had my team behind me. Now, did you have the eight nothing lead when you got in there, or eight to one? Eight to one? <laughs> did that make it a little bit easier? Or? Yes, it did. Okay, but in the back of your mind, were you thinking uh, Alicia was going to be mad if you blew her uh, first one of the season if you went in there and gave up? No. <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it out of your head. Now, uh, so, you, uh, Ashley, you're a pitcher. Uh, do you play another position when you're not pitching? Or? I play second base. Second base, okay. And uh, what about you, Jar- uh, Josie? What uh, position do you play? Left or right outfield. Left or right? Which yeah. do you prefer, either one? or? Uh, since I'm a lefty, I kind of like right field, but... Okay. Or right field. Uh, left. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, uh, you, you can tell me. It's all right. <laughs> all right. So you you play the outfield, and uh, what's what's your uh, favorite part about playing on the outfield? Um, I don't know. It's easy to get it in to focus and not get caught up in. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do next? But it's fun. Yeah, a lot lot less going on than in the infield because yeah. yeah. you know who's covering, who's <laughs> doing this, who's are we shifting over? I got you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Emily, uh, you're a freshman, right? Yes. And what position do you play? Uh, first, but then occasionally left. First, but occasionally left. Which do you prefer? First base, definitely. First base? What do you like about first base? I just like how you always have to, like, think on your toes and you have to be quick. And with the outfield, it's a lot more waiting, and I'm not good with waiting. So You're not good with waiting? I like the instinct <laughs> position a lot more. And there's a lot more ground balls in softball than there is. I mean, there's not as many fly balls in softball as there is in baseball, let's say, right? Yeah. Usually a lot of, a lot of strikeouts, a lot of ground balls. Okay, so you're in on every play. Uh, Ashley, let me ask you, when, when did you first start playing softball? How old were you? I was eight. Eight? Yes. Okay, what got you into it? I think my sister was playing, so I liked how she was playing, so I knew I wanted to be like her and be a pitcher. Would you say that Alicia's your hero? Don't say she's your hero. <laughs> she's my role model. Okay, that's, I guess, well, you know, we'll work on that. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josie, what about you? How, when you first started playing softball, how old were you? Seventh grade. Seventh grade? So, like, 13. Let's yeah. get into it a little bit late. So yeah. what, what, what made you get into playing softball? Uh, all my friends were playing it, so I wanted to try something out. Peer pressure? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> That's, got sick of the piano? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's all right. And did you like it right away, or did it take some getting used to it? Oh, no, I loved it. Yeah, I okay. still love it. Awesome. And uh, what about you, Emily? How old were you when you first started playing? Uh, Sixth grade, so I don't know how old I would be. But Twelve? Probably something like Hopefully that. Hopefully, not yeah. much older than twelve. Cause that, <laughs> yeah. that can be an issue there. But uh, uh, so, and did you like it right off the bat? Yeah, definitely. And did your friends get you into it, or siblings? Well, I saw it. Like I was, I went and saw a couple of the games for like the junior high, and I thought it was like really cool seeing them play. So I figured, hey, why don't I, why not try that? So right, I just decided to go for it, and I like it. Now, have so. you gone to PCA? The PCA has like it's like first kindergarten through twelfth grade, basically, right? Yes. Have you gone there since you were in the in kindergarten, or how long have you gone to PCA? Since kindergarten. Since kindergarten. Okay, so you kind of grew up watching the the PCA teams and. You ready to get out there? Yes. Now, were you part of this vaunted junior high team that's gone like 19 and 0? <laughs> yes, both years. Both years? Okay, you're on it both years. So you guys do a lot of bragging. Uh, Ashley, what, how, do you, how do you think that prepared you for playing in uh, varsity? I think that prepared us for making us as more of a team, knowing that we can do well together. Okay, and you got you got a lot of uh, a lot of freshmen and eighth graders coming up, so it's uh it's like you got. Do you feel you guys are taking over the team, kicking out the sophomores and the seniors and juniors, or what? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. A little bit. Wow. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> we just rule. <laughs> All right, Josie, you guys had a good playoff run last year. What uh, what do you have to do different this year to get you back to where you were or uh, beyond that? I think we got to work together more, um, focusing definitely and getting those hits in, um, listening to the coaches <laughs> yeah. and taking in what we learned in practice and stuff and working as a team too. Yep. All right, excellent. And uh, so, Emily, I mean, you uh, were you – 
part of the team as an eighth grader last year, or no? You were on the junior high team, right? Junior high team. Okay, so what? What? Uh, obviously, you probably watched a lot of the varsity team, right? Uh, some games. Some some games. So what what sort of things did you pick up watching the varsity team last year that you can use this year? Well, they're all just kind of one unit. It wasn't just. 13 different people on a team it was one team one person kind of thing yeah and it was just everyone together working in as a unit and that just coming in knowing some of the people on the team it kind of just helps you bond with everyone so it as soon as you get there it's a family and you can just take off from there all right excellent and uh as we uh we're going to take a time on just a little bit and get some more of your teammates on but ashley uh how far do you think you guys i know it's only been one game you played one game you've had one game to look at how far do you think you guys can go maybe if you uh play up to your potential what do you think I think we can probably get to the final four. Final four. She's she's young, but she's brash. That's okay. We like that. Taking over the team and predicting a final four. <laughs> That's right. Farmington's listening. They're taking notes. Uh, <laughs> Josie, what do you think? If you guys play up to your potential? Oh, I really hope we get there. Um, I haven't personally got that high up, but um, that'd be amazing to have under my belt and so, get there. So you're trying to get to the final four? Oh, yeah. All right. What about you, Emily? What do you think? I think if we do everything right, the way our coaches say it, the way we can do it, I think we can get the Final Four. I think we can get to the championship. And, hey, who knows, maybe we'll bring home the plaque. There you go. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. All right, well, we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll get some more of your teammates on here. It is the All-Star High School Sports Show live from the WTSN studios in Dover on AM 1270 WTSN and WTSNAM1270.com. More of the All Star High School Sports Show with Justin McIsaac. Oh, that's my jam. The Pixies. None of these guys were born when this song came out, by the way. It's the All Star High School Sports Show. And don't forget, tomorrow night we have the Yankees at the Indians, followed by the Celtics taking on the Brooklyn Nets. All the action begins at 6 30 with the Yankees and the Indians on WTSN. Three more members of the PCA Eagles undefeated first place softball team. Danny Brashear is here. How you doing, Danny? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm fantastic. And you are actually twins with Emily Brashear, right? I am. I did, so you wanted to just get away from her for a little bit? Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit? Like a lot, right? It's a, you can tell me. It's just, it's just us talking. <laughs> All right. And uh, Becky Height is here. Becky, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Excellent. And uh, you're sisters with uh, Kristen. Mm -hmm. A lot of sisters on this team. Yeah. Is, is that good or bad? It's fun because that way I can spend more time with her and have sisterly bonding, and she's a role model well, to look up to, listen, so it's I, just fun. I know there's sisterly bonding, but I also know there's sisterly fighting. Does that go on on the team, or what's what's going on? Um, She's definitely better than me, so I don't really have to, <laughs> but I don't really have to compete for positions with her. So. That, that's all right. All right okay, and uh, Amelia Sheedy is here. Amelia is stopping Becky from uh, from twirling her hair. <laughs> no, we can see that on the radio. It's okay. She can twirl her hair, Amelia. How are you doing, Amelia? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And you are sisters with, I know there was a, with Abby Sheedy, right? Right. And so now, uh, Amelia, what, what, what year are you? I'm a freshman. You're a freshman. Okay, so you have a senior sister on the team. I do. Is that good or bad? It's good. I love having her because I've never really been on a sports team with her before through all I've been with her. So it's a plus to have her with me all the time. All right. Is it weird? Well, you guys are a pretty young team, so there's a lot of freshman eighth graders. I mean, do you think that's a – in some ways people would say that's a disadvantage. Do you think there's some advantages to that? or? Um, I think there's definitely an advantage because um, throughout the years that we're going to be together, we're definitely going to build more skill while we're together and learn more and become more closer together as a team. All right. And uh, Danny Brashear, Danny, what, uh, what year are you? I'm a freshman. You're a freshman. Oh, you, you, I just asked your sister. Said she was a freshman. You guys are twins. Should have figured that out. That's all right. <laughs> That's my bad. And what, what do you think about having a team with so many uh, younger players on it? I mean, we're a young team, so it might be difficult at first to get used to the um, high school varsity level. But just because we're so young, we have a lot of years to, to develop our skills and just to become a better team altogether. And with all that, we have new players coming up from the old junior high, which was a part of last year's undefeated. So I think we're just going to keep growing as a better team throughout the years. Wow. Co co hold on. Coach Anatone and Coach uh, Vining, look, look at these freshman eighth graders giving <laughs> quality media answers. Exactly. You guys have coached them up. Good, good on you guys. Justin, we've coached them on the field and off the field. They <laughs> do a great job. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Becky, uh, Becky what, what, uh, what year are you? I'm a freshman. You're well. also a freshman. And uh, so, I mean, I... You play with a lot of these kids on the undefeated junior high team, which I, you guys never stop talking about. I mean, <laughs> how do you feel that those experiences with the junior high team will help you in varsity softball? Um, they definitely help me because without those years, I would know nothing about softball because I just tried playing softball in sixth grade, ended up loving it, and I've played it ever since. 
And it's just so much fun just because it's always fun to have a team because that way you make more friends. And I honestly bonded with more of the girls that I never would have honestly talked to in school because I had no idea where they were. That's awesome. All right. And so uh, let me ask you, uh, Amelia, what position do you play? I play shortstop. Shortstop. Now, uh, are you the starting shortstop for the team? Yes. All right. So a lot, lot of action at shortstop. What do you like about playing there? Um, I love it because you, when you're there, you really get to see everyone at the same time and know what's going on. Like you're like right in the middle of it, and you like it's fun to know what's going on and where to go next. All right, excellent. And uh, Danny, what position do you play? I play third base. Third base? Are you the starting third baseman for the team? I am. All right, I played third base when I played slow pitch softball, which that's like the, <laughs> that's where they put the guy they don't like. But now, uh, what do you like about <laughs> playing third base? Um, I love that you always have to stay on your toes. Um, if there's a bunt coming, you have to be ready to sprint for the ball. Um, mm. There can be rockets hit up the third base line. Yeah. You've got to be ready for those. Sad to say, I'm still working on that. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and you I, guys, you guys are closer in softball at third base than, than you would be in baseball. It's only what is it, 65 feet, 70 feet in the, on the baseline? 60 feet. 60 feet. 60 feet. So you're you're that much closer. Yeah, I mean the ball definitely gets hit harder, but it's just a fun sport. And when you feel the ball hit your mitt, you're just like, I'm ready to go. Okay. Whoa! All right. <laughs> Bring it. Settle down. These mics aren't paid for yet. It's all right. Uh, Becky, what position do you play? Uh, I'm in uh, right field or anywhere in the outfield. Anywhere in the outfield? What do you like about the outfield? Um, I like it because it's so exciting when you catch a pop flag. So it's like, yes, I caught it. <laughs> I, mean, I, I play on a men's league baseball team. I can't catch a pop up to save my life. So I know exactly what you mean. When you like accidentally catch one? No, I'm just. <laughs> so, I have those moments. <laughs> that's all right. I've been there. Uh, Amelia, uh, what, what, now, what, what do you think? You guys, I mean, you're a freshman. Who do you think is going to be the biggest challenge this year for you guys? Um, definitely agree with Farmington. Um, they've always been a competition, as Kristen said, in any sport. Um, I do think that we have a challenge coming and that we can definitely get through and play as a team. All right. Now, uh, Danny, I mean, would you guys, did you play Farmington in junior high softball or? Um, no, we didn't. Okay. So this will be your first, uh, when you guys play Farmington coming up, and let me have the date right here. When you guys play Farmington at home on the 13th, that's going to be a, a huge deal for you, right? Definitely. I mean, I've played them in previous sports, not in softball, and I know they were a tough team to beat, and coming up to see them playing softball, um, this is one of the times where I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not necessarily prepared um, mentally, mentality-wise, but okay. with my coaches, I definitely know what I'm going to be doing and how to face them, how to get the balls, and just how to play an overall great game. Going to do some meditation, some yoga, so get in the right <laughs> mind frame? Definitely. Okay, that's that's probably a good thing. Uh, Becky, what team are you looking forward to playing most? Is it Farmington or is it somebody else? Um, I was looking forward to Newmarket, so it's just awesome that we beat them because, again, that's my hometown, and I just love... Beating my friends. That's <laughs> that was a great you, feeling. You get to chirp on Facebook afterwards. Does a lot of that happen? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It's all right. I won't tell the coaches. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. So I'll start with you, Amelia. If you guys, uh, if you guys play to your potential, how far do you think the PCA Eagles can go this year? I do believe we can go very far. Um, I agree with Alicia. I think we have the capability of going all the way. Um, we have a young team, but we do have a lot of skill on the team. We have a lot of like sportsmanship and. With all that, we can go find, especially with the coaches. They've been awesome. All right. And, Danny, how far do you think you guys can go? Um, I agree with most of the other team, what they said. I think we have a great chance to go to the championship. I mean, we have a great team. We have a great bond with each other. We have a great time with each other. And just the amount of skill that we all have, I think, combining all that, we're forced to be reckoned with. All right. Wow. All right. Put that on a T-shirt. Uh, <laughs> Becky, what, what do you think? How far do you think you guys can go? Uh, repeating what everyone said, I think that we can definitely go all the way and hopefully win everything because I think we're a great team and we play together as a team as we've obviously showed against Newmarket and if we do everything like that, then we can go all the way. All right, well, uh, our time has come to an end with you guys, the PCA Eagles girls softball team. You can catch them. They're at home for the next three games uh, on the 11th against Newt, on the 13th against Farmington, and then on the 18th against Moulton Borough. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in and uh, best of luck this season. Thank you. All right. We are going to take a time out when we come back. It's the Spalding Boys Tennis Team coming up next on the All-Star High School Sports Show live from the WTSN studios in Dover on AM 1270 WTSN and WTSN AM 1270.com.